Did you know that one third of online shoppers abandon the purchase because of a lack of size information? Don't lose any more customers because of this. By using the Vital Size Chart app to display size information on product pages, your visitors will be confident to place that order. With accurate size information available on product pages, customers are less likely to buy the wrong size, which in turn will result in fewer returns, and more likely to make a purchase because they can be confident that the product will fit them, which means more sales for you. With the Vital Size Chart app, it's easy to display size charts on your store. To create a new size chart, simply click the Create Size Chart button. Here you can choose where you want to display your size chart. You can select specific products or collections to display your size chart on, or choose all products. I'll select some specific products for this example. Next, choose how you want to create the size chart. If you already have one as an image, you can quickly create a size chart by uploading said image. Then click Publish and your image size chart is ready. Of course, you can also display a how to measure guide along with the size chart. If you want to enable it or edit the content, click enable how to measure guide and that will open the editor. Let's see how my image size chart looks. I'm happy, it looks great. Now let's create a size chart from scratch for my collection. I'll create a table because I don't have an image size chart for this. Next, I'll choose the create table option. This opens the table editor. Let's create a cool size chart. Here I already have a table to start with, which will make things easier. What I need are some more rows and columns. I'll add a new column at the end of the size chart. And I can do this by using the table shortcuts or by right-clicking on the table. I prefer to right-click to open the menu. Now I'll add some rows because I need more sizes. And I also need the excess size. This time. I'll use the shortcut to add a new row. You can use whatever method you prefer. Let's complete the measurements. I'll copy paste the measurements because I already have the sizes in an Excel table. Along with the size chart, you can also display a how to measure guide to help your users in the measurement process. And you can enable the guide by checking this box. Obviously, you can edit the text or change the image displayed here. If you don't want a two column layout, delete the default content first and add your images and text. I'll now click Publish to see how it looks. Yep, I'm very happy with my size chart. But what if this design doesn't really fit my store? Well, we can customize it. Let's go to the Settings tab to do just that. Here you can customize the size chart button appearance, change the table style or modal style. I'll customize the button first. I want a size chart button without an icon, so I'll simply choose the No Icon option. And I'm also going to let the text be underlined by checking this option. You can also change the button color or text from right here. For the size chart tables created in the editor, you can choose from three design options. So go ahead, check them out and see what you like best. All designs are professionally created and responsive. The tables become scrollable on mobile if they don't fit in the viewport. So they'll look great on any device. Of course, these designs only apply to the size chart tables created in the table editor. The image size charts will not be affected by this. For the modal, you can change the background and the text color. For instance, if you have a dark theme and you also want a black modal, you can change the color from here. One more thing I want to do is to change the button placement on the page. And I can do that from the vitals editor. By default, the button is placed above the at the card form. Depending on what theme your store is using, the button will be displayed right above the Add to Cart button or somewhere in the Buy Buttons section. But you can place it below the Add to Cart button or anywhere on the page. If you have an OS20 compatible theme, you can also use the Shopify editor to change its position on the page. But if you want its position right above or below the Add to Cart button, we recommend using the Vitals editor for that. And with that, we're done. Have fun creating your own site charts. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.